Welcome back to another NHL 23 shootout challenge. And today we're doing something we have never done before. In the past, we've played with some crazy camera angles to try to make these shootouts as difficult as possible. For example, the true broadcast camera angle, where you are watching from a camera in the upper bowl going left to right. It's impossible. Something about it just gets me fired up. Little fake. <gasps> Well, for this one, we're going to keep it a little simpler, but this may be the sickest looking camera angle in the game. In today's video, we are hopping into two random online shootouts playing on the lowest camera angle possible for both goalie and for player. I'm not even kidding. When you see this camera angle, it looks like a movie. You're following right behind from the third person. You can't really see where you're going. You can't even see the toe drag when you pull it back, but it makes for some pretty sick clips. Of course, you guys know the drill by now. We're going to be putting some packs on the line for these shootouts. So for shootout number one, we're going to put three of these jumbo premium packs out right now is the fantasy hockey players, which the set is absolutely terrible. I wouldn't mind pulling one of the players, though. Shootout number two, we're going to do two of the NHL player packs. You get four guaranteed 80 pluses and also some opportunities for those fantasy hockey cards as well. So lots of packs on the line. Here's what we're hoping to get. Also, we have our undefeated record on the line as well. Let's see if we can keep this rolling. An undefeated shootout challenge season. Hopping in to shootout number one. First, we have to get our random team. Episode number one had Vancouver and the Sharks. So here we go in three, two, one. The Dallas Stars. Honestly, not going to be a bad shootout lineup. We take those. You know what? I haven't seen these in a while. I think we have to rock the Dallas Stars neon greens. A very underrated jersey in the NHL. Okay, shootout number one. And you guys will get to see the camera angle here for the first time. I did not actually play a shootout on this. I just went to see what the lowest angle you could do was. And this is what we have. Goalie's not going to look that much different. First of all, it's just a tiny bit lower than what we normally play on. We'll hit him with that quick glove. Ah having a phenomenal season with a big first save and here we go look at this camera angle dude it's an absolute movie out here it's tough to see and uh oh <laughs> tyler sagan a beautiful toe drag we stop in place hit him with the toe we it's just Sturkin tries to make the desperation save not today dude this is actually sick i'm not even kidding if this shootout goes well today I might just leave this as my permanent shootout angle because it does give you kind of a, a new vision on the ice. You can see some of those corners a little better. You can see where the moves are going to be open. We're going to go a little... I'm going to hit him with a Datsu. <laughs> this might be the nastiest shootout we have ever had. We hit him with a fake shot and he just goes flying the other direction. What a goal. Two for two on nasty toeies. All right, we're going to keep this rolling here. I don't think he's ready for a fake fake fly. Come back. Yep, nothing nothing there. I didn't even go into my, my butterfly because I knew I didn't have to. <laughs> we just cover that side of the net, and he's got no chance at it. We have a nice little lead here. I'm going to do... Uh, I've been working on that little behind the backer. Ah, try to go behind the back put it between my legs on accident i like that little you can do a little back skate and then if you instantly go into the slap shot they won't call you for going backwards it's a nice little nice little <laughs> and Andre with zero goals against in our first shootout of the day sure, i mean that could have been a bit more of an exciting shootout but holy the goals that we scored were disgusting Goal number one, we stand still, wait as long as possible, hit him with that toe drag. Goal number two, we hit him with the Datsu. He goes flying to the other post, and it leaves the side wide open. So a nice and clean shootout there to start. We got a great team. We got a great shootout lineup and some of the best goaltending in the league right now. Let's see what we can do here in shootout number two. Oh, I'm not joking. This actually could be the play in terms of the best shootout angle in the game. I don't know why I had never tried this before. This used to be the default angle back in like the NHL 07, NHL 08, NHL 09 kind of days. And then I think at some point, like 13 to 14, they bumped it up. But this angle is actually nasty. All right, team number two, shootout number two in one, two, three. We got the Central All-Stars. We'll go one more. And the Florida Panthers. Okay. Honestly, two of the better shootout lineups that we can get. Barkov, Matthew Kachuk. These guys are going to be gross. Now, unfortunately, we don't have the updated reverse retros in the game because I would absolutely be rocking that Florida Panthers baby blue jersey that they have. But you know what? The reverse retro from last year 
actually pretty clean. So I'm gonna hop this one on. Let's see if we can go 2-0. Oh. Good out number two here. It is Florida versus the defending Stanley Cup champs, home of Rostislav Nashrov, the Colorado Avalanche. We're gonna see what our boy Bobrovsky can do here in net. Shootout number two is this guy here. It could be oh he oh a little delay okay the little fake out almost kind of almost kind of got me big kick save there though from bob all right we got to get a little creative also i realized in the last shootout i didn't go for any of the diving desperation goals i promised you i would score one of those so we're gonna if that one doesn't go in what will you know that one he like left that side open it felt like that was gonna be the perfect setup but no we still get robbed on him with the fly <laughs> wait wait that was actually sick i don't know if he meant to do it like that but that's actually a nasty looking finish on that i'm gonna start doing that you get around him and you just force the one hand tuck you basically just walk it into the net i, I really like that goal hey credit where credit is due this guy's kind of nasty we're gonna go fake between the legs <laughs> fake between the legs he follows us perfectly but he somehow doesn't get a stick on that as Barkov hangs onto it on that backhand. What a finish, Barky. Let's go. All right, yo, this is shaping up to be a bit of a battle. I like this here. So he knows that I like the flying poke, so I'm gonna hit him with the fake fly. What's <laughs> that, Bob? I thought that thing was gonna trickle over my head and go into the back of the net, but it hits his head and bops off of it. And now we have Reinhardt coming in. I'm gonna do, uh, you know what? We're gonna do our standstill toe drag. <laughs> That's one of my favorite moves in the game. Sometimes you get unlucky and they blow the whistle if you don't do it fast enough. That time we get him just sliding all the way to the other side. The toe drags, the Datsuks, and the standstill toe is all coming in huge for us today in this shootout challenge. As here comes Bobby's coming too fast. Yes, sir. He just gets, he runs into an absolute brick wall of Sergei Bobrovsky. Chance to end this thing. We can get a little fancy here. I think we're going to try it again. He missed the net wide. I, I'm trying to think of, of what the best way to do that. I think if I come over a little more from the right, we need to basically be shooting from the mid slot. Uh, as there, I was a little bit too far to the side. We're going to just make that save and win this game. What a shootout for the Florida Panthers as Sergei Bobrovsky locks down at Tendi. Unfortunately, this was another day where we went for the diving desperation goals. It felt like two pretty good attempts at it, but it did not happen. So stay tuned. Next episode, lock it in. We are 100% going to be scoring the desperation diving goal. Today was not that day. Hey, regardless, we still had some nasty clips in here today. The toe drags 100% on point. We got the goalies flying from side to side. So we'll keep working on our moves, see what we can do in the next episode. The good news is we do get to keep every single one of our packs today. And I just have this weird feeling a fantasy hockey card is going to be in one of these packs. Again, here are the cards that we're interested in. Every single goal they score, fours go up one, defenders go up plus two. Now, let's be honest here. The sets, we could go on a 30 minute rant about how terrible these fantasy hockey sets are, but we're just focused on getting the cards out of a pack today. So I'm not worried about it. I'll take the Robert Thomas. 100% all day long. So again, we have three of the Jumbo Premium Packs, two of the NHL Player Packs. Obviously, our odds are not great with these, but the good news is we don't need a high overall card. We are hoping to get the 76, 73 overalls, those low overall fantasy cards that upgrade as the year goes on. So three packs. We will fly through these first three because again, I'm, I'm going to be real. I don't think we're going to get anything too good from here. But there's always that little, little... This might be the worst. This might be the worst pack I have ever seen. Did we even get... We didn't get a card above a 78 overall. That is absolutely terrible. Now, I know I said before, you know, I'm not worried about getting the 80 pluses because we're focused on those low overall cards. I did not expect it to be as bad as it was. Okay, we do have some gold cards in here. So let's keep on rolling. Let's see what we have. We've got a Truba, 81 overall, Darlene, 82 overall, two pretty solid defenders, and a Chikrin at an 81 overall. So very solid decor for in, in terms of real hockey. In terms of the game, certainly not what we want. So big L of a pack, number two. Let's see what the third one has. I'm getting a feeling. You guys, you guys sometimes know. Sometimes you just get that feeling that something crazy is going to happen. 
And I, I have that feeling in my gut, in my heart right now. Okay, Philip Deneau, 80, 81 overall. That's not the feeling. I don't think that's the feeling that I had as that is going to be our only 80 plus from the pack. No fantasy hockey cards. No even remotely good pulls. I'm talking 83s. Is that too much to ask for? An 83 overall? Not today. So we'll keep on moving. It's time to build a little hype, all right? I want a hype song in the background. We're flying right now. We're buzzing. We got two of these NHL player packs. Let's go. Big pulls only. Today is the day that we make history. Today is the day we pull our first ever good card in the shootout challenge. I want to see a purple on the screen, and I do not want that purple to be a goalie because every time we get excited, it's a... And our most exciting pull is going to be an 80 overall, Ron Hextall. What do you know? Another goalie. It is an icon, which we can trade up to if a power-up collectible ocean, at some point. But for us today, that's not going to do it. 80 overall, Ron Hextall. Welcome, welcome. Not what we need. This might go down in history as one of our, our worst pack openings of all time. I thought I had that weird gut feeling, but holy, another Truba, Spurgeon. These defenders, dude, we, we keep getting these... You know, I, I consider them good defenders in real life, but they're just not who you want to get in the game as an 82 Olsen. Man, that is going to be it. Our best pull of today's video. You know what? We're not ending it there. I got to open up one more of these. Let's go. Let's turn this day around. One, no matter what. We can't even open up more of these if we wanted to. So it all comes down to this. Our final pack of the day. Can this luck turn around? Charlie McAvoy, not a bad, not a bad card. I heard he's back to practicing. We'll be back on the ice soon. There's Pierre Luc Dubois, 82. So we are getting, you know, a little bit of better luck. Elvis coming in at 82. But unfortunately, that is not what you love to see. So we just dropped about $30 worth of packs, and we did not pull a single card above an 82 overall listen i open up packs so you guys don't have to we got 300 points left all right so imagine this is the fantasy okay another 80 overall that's gonna be it for this one dude we gave it our all we had some nasty shootout moves some nasty shootout goals but unfortunately not the pack luck to go along with it the shootout challenge continues with a 4-0 perfect record but now we just need some purple cards to go along with it. If you guys did enjoy the shootout challenge and the low camera angle, I might keep that going. Hit the video with a like to let me know. Hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 1 million subscribers. I'm Nasher, and I'm out. Peace.